welcome dear students this is lecture 3 of module 4 which is the determination of bh curve what is bh b is magnetic flux density h is magnetic field intensity there are mainly two methods for finding bh curve one is method of reversal and the second one is step by step method this is the approximate figure or graph of a bh curve okay and method of reversal first one is the method of reversal we have already studied about this experimental setup is it are you remembering yes this uh, setup is mainly used for finding the magnetic flux density of a ring specimen the same setup we are using for method of reversal a ring shaped specimen whose dimensions are known is used for this purpose so before doing the test the string specimen should be demagnetized that is it should not have any magnetic property after demagnetizing the test is started by setting magnetizing current to a very low value we are using a reversing switch here what is the purpose of reversing switch in order to provide the current in both directions that is if you are connecting the switch 1 2 and 1 dash 2 dash then current will be flowing by 2 1 to the ring 1 dash 2 dash if you are connecting the switch in reverse position that is 2 1 dash 2 dash 1 then current will be flowing in this path and leaving by 1 2 dash okay so you are providing current in both direction by using this reversing switch with the galvanometer key closed this is the ballistic galvanometer uh, and across we are connecting a key I have already explained the circuit in the previous class that is why I am not going in detail about the experimental setup. With galvanometer key closed, this key is closed, the iron specimen is brought into reproducible cyclic magnetic state. What is the purpose of reproducible cyclic magnetic state and how it is achieved? It is achieved by throwing the reversing switch S back and forth. That is you have to suddenly throw the switch in current first position that is 1 to 1 to dash again suddenly reverse the switch that is close position again suddenly reverse back the switch in normal position and in this way you have to do it for 10 or 20 times so what is the purpose in order to produce a reversible magnet or a cyclic magnetic state cyclic magnetic state means the flux linkage will be changing when the current is reversing the direction there will be change in the flux linkage then only using ballistic galvanometer we can measure that change once the um, specimen attain the cyclic magnetic state or the, once there will be change in the flux linkage in the specimen then you have to open this key and the value of flux corresponding to this h is measured by reversing the switch and noting the throw of galvanometer so once you uh, attain the cyclic magnetic state there will be a change in flux linkage and that is the purpose of ballistic galvanometer it is used for measuring the amount of charge passing through the circuit so from the charge we have already studied how we, how we are going to find the uh, flux using charge so are you remembering this uh, equation uh, that is uh, the flux found out by r g q theta 1 2 n this is our previous lecture just go through the lecture that is uh, the finding the flux density of ring specimen using ballistic galvanometer once you get the throw of galvanometer throw means angle of deflection you can find the flux by the equation r g q theta 1 by 2 n The value of flux density corresponding to H can be calculated by dividing the flux by area. Okay, once you got the flux from uh, equation of galvanometer, then you can find the flux density. How will you find flux density? Flux by area. Okay, so you got the value of B. Then how will you find the value of H? H is determined from by the current through this uh, string specimen. So this is the ammeter where you are measuring the current. Okay, equation for H is given by H equal to N I by L. 
n is number of turns i is current through galvanometer l is the length of ring specimen okay so using these three uh, this equation these three parameters we can calculate the value of h and using this equation phi by a equal to b you can get the value of b using these two values you can plot the value of initial b and h b1 corresponding to h1 okay the above procedure is repeated for various values of h how will you increase the value of h by increasing the value of dc supply or by changing the value of rheostat you can able to adjust the value of current or increase the value of current thereby increasing the field intensity corresponding value of b magnetic flux density is noted using ballistic galvanometer and you can plot it using uh, a b um, normal bar sheet this is the bh curve using method of reversal the next method is step by step method this is the second method for finding bh curve step by step method in this instead of potentiometer see here we are using a potentiometer supply arrangement in method of reversal but in step by step method we are using a potential divider arrangement instead of a real state you are using a potential divider and certain tappings are there so how can you adjust the current by switching the S2 position to different tapping, different value of resistance will be connected so current value can be adjusted. And the setup consists of the same, uh, setup is same as that of method of reversal ring specimen with a ballistic galvanometer parallel with a key. Then instead of the rheostat arrangement you are using a potential divide arrangement. The magnetizing winding is supplied to through a potential divider having large number of tappings. The tappings are arranged so that magnetizing force H may be increased in suitable number of steps up to desired maximum value. So initially suppose if you are connecting uh, the switch S2 in one position. So what will be the circuit path here current switch S1 is also closed then from battery current will be flowing through these all values of resistance from one then to the other winding other end of the winding so maximum resistance will be connected to the circuit as the result current will be low so if you are connecting then S2 to second position the resistance decreases so current increases again when S2 to third position resistance again decreases current increases in this way you can calculate different values of B for different values of H how will you calculate the B value corresponding value of B is noted from or charge is noted from throw of galvanometer and from charge you can able to find the flux from flux you can get the magnetic field intensity by flux by area so here is the steps for finding the pH curve using step by step method uh, this is what I have already explained tapping switch S2 is set on tapping 1 and switch S1 is closed S2 on tapping 1 and S1 is closed current flow in the magnetizing winding set up a magnetizing force h1 so a current will be flowing corresponding to current will be getting the value of h h equal to n i by l which in turn increase the flux density in specimen from zero to a value so as current increases ballistic galvanometer shows the value of charge and you can find the flux density from this charge then H1 may value may be calculated from the reading of ammeter. H1 means Ni by L corresponding current is taken. The magnetizing force is then increased to some value H2 by suddenly switching S2 to tapping 2. So connect S2 to second tapping. So resistance decreases, current increases. Corresponding flux density delta B is noted. Then the flux density B2 corresponding to magnetizing force H2 is calculated. That is B2, you have to cal can calculate B2 from ballistic galvanometer. The process is repeated for other values of H up to the maximum point. That is, increase the value of current by increasing switches to a different position. You will be getting the BH curve. Thank you.